Hey everyone, it's Vickerman and we're here with EU4 Celtica. We are making a lot of money, causing a lot of mayhem around the world. Truce with England has expired. England is allied with Matapa, which doesn't sound like too much. They are currently completely occupied here in London. And uh, yeah, they probably don't have any army whatsoever. Which means we go in for the quick steal. Now they do have 10,000 troops somewhere, probably in the colonies or something. They're certainly not there. Now they don't want to do that because they would be called into multiple wars. Uh, it looks like they're not going to be interested in annexing anytime soon. Probably because of this freaking guy here. Uh, okay, so clear that offer. Yeah, we're gonna maybe do something like that and give us all that money you're talking about and some war reparations. That'd be all right. Yeah, we can do that to get out of that war. Gives us a lot more money. And, uh, yeah, England here. Alliance from Brunei. Interesting. Why would you want to ally us? Are you any good? Yeah, what's our diplomatic relations? And who are you friends with? Your arrival to Malacca. That's good. I think maybe we can do this. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, we don't need the army that is over there. And now Portugal will join and we shall declare war. And uh, yeah, these rebels you couldn't take care of. We are going to do it for you, my friend. Alrighty. Oh, and our manpower has recovered. Excellent. We can get another 80 ships. We have 72 heavies at the moment. Uh, let's send this fleet. Uh, since I had kind of forgotten about them, may as well just go here and do the blockade. And you guys are... Whoop, Matsalo. Oh, we have a little army there that I had forgotten about. Which is too bad. Too bad indeed. But no big deal, really. Where is Mutapau, anyway? Mutapa. Ah, oh, so they're right there. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Brunei has declared war independently of me? Oh. 
Okay, they got 14,000 men. We have 1 million four no 146,000 I was like holy cow how is that even possible uh, are we about done yet it's not much of a navy to speak of on their side yeah there's none yeah we may as well just go then because we will repair in the coastline there All right, a gold Golconda. So do we have claims on all those provinces in what you jigger um, India? Looks like things are going pretty well here. Uh, actually. Yeah, they, there are no English lands in New England right now. Okay, well, in that case, it doesn't look like we have any issues with rebellion at the moment. So we'll go ahead and attach transport and send this unit around to... Uh, Oh, they got 27 there. That'll be a pretty tough fight. Uh, we should really join up here. But first, we'll just go ahead and do this. Kill these two English regiments there. We've got a lot of money to spend right now. We only have 28 transports. Let's build some more of these. Okay, we got 16 queued. Let's do 20 actually. And then build some more frigates. I really want those lands that they have in the Ivory Coast because we really want more trade power there okay and now that we have all this cash oh man 24.65 Oh, and unique buildings. Yearly Prestige, uh, Royal Palace, Yearly Legitimacy. Oh, an Embassy. That'll be extremely good. Let's build that here in Gwynedd. Do some of that kind of stuff. Let's build some forts, maybe. Uh, still ahead of time on... Oh, I built all these heavy ships, and we're about to upgrade. That's somewhat annoying. Alrighty. And then we'll head up here to join this army here. And we are going to uh, Do we have um Let's check this screen here. I don't know how many we actually have. Might be good to maybe do a conquistador. Just in case we need him. And we'll march down here. 
should do okay. And Portugal, are they following us? Okay. Persia. Beginning in 1672, Persia faced almost a decade of utter chaos, slowly consuming the country from within and bringing it to the verge of collapse. The nation is struggling both socially and economically as famine and war plague our people, and the growing opposition against the aristocracy and church has resulted in a series of rebellion and assassination attempts against the monarch. Oh boy. We have lost the Siege of Calabar. All right. Uh, force March and we follow. Oh, it may have been a good idea to do a Conquistador. Looks like there is some Terra Incognita here. End of the English Civil War. It's finally over as Jane the First Lancaster and her royalists crush the parliamentarian faction. Does that mean England will remain a monarchy for, you know, a few more months before we destroy them? Yeah, this, uh,. This little army here is pretty stubborn. Yeah, we'll just kind of go back and forth. We're not going to do a force march so that our morale can recover. Let's get more and more prestige from this. Of course, now we're out of manpower. Excellent. It's like Brunei has come to siege uh, England, prov English province there. I think the English army is basically done. Permanent navies have gone from being exceptional cases to becoming the norm. The institutions devoted to the control of these new navies are beginning to take a much more active part in the procurement of supplies, construction, and upkeep of their ships. Ah, there you are. Now we have a new king. And a very nice heir. Our new king isn't too bad either. 3-2-3, three, three, that isn't too bad at all. Alright, so we would like admin points if we can get them. So a 5% tax modifier. Or plus one prestige per year. Plus one prestige per year will now exceed decay, so that's good. Of course, having the plus five percent tax modifier. And it's not a huge thing, really. I think the plus one prestige actually makes a lot of sense for us. Can we afford this guy? Well, no. 
Let's do this. We need to reduce inflation. Yeah, that'll be good. England! Seed London. And you'll just be an African nation. Going on a mission of discovery. We have discovered the English. Man, you guys are tough. Austria has declared war on Alsace. Establishment of a permanent recruiting area for armies of the age has made it much easier for us to extract men from the population to serve in the army. Gain 51 manpower and derby. Mass draft with financial incentive. Gain 102 manpower and derby. Well, you know, we've got a lot more gold than manpower at the moment, so... Well, we are... We should uh, not do that. Where's our ships? I think we want to, uh, if we can, to get this province here. Occupied by Brunei. And I think if we take back our province, they will... They will flip it, I think. Our royal marriage with Portugal is over. I think they'd be interested in renewing it. And let's see about... Manufactories or unique buildings. Whoa, look at all this. All these ships. All right, the transport fleet, come over here. And these guys should all be frigates. So, Uh, these caravels, we can disband them, actually. bet those ships went to go repair themselves. Uh, I think we'll have to do this then. Need at least zero, I think. I really want new tech levels for admin.
<clears throat> well, we may as well do this now. We're about maxed out on points. Nationalism, Kazaspele against Celtic Panama. Gain the Imperialism, Kazaspele against Sweden, Denmark. Now that's interesting, like a. Decline. Decline. Oh, oh yeah, I don't think they're in my war. It's a bit irritating. Well, maybe we just ought to take London and go. Well, that will not work. Should be good. You know, not a huge war, but well, we've got London back. Well, not back, we have it now. And it'll be pretty important to core this pretty quickly. To client state. So that will help us out significantly. That gives us a huge amount more trade power. An alliance from Ahutala. Must be over here somewhere. seem to be fairly strong seems like they're trying to make sure that they don't get 
totally trampled here. Uh, they want my provinces. I don't like that at all. France, we could still be friends if you would just stop desiring my provinces. Uh, I think, you know... Poland, what is going on with you, my friend? The Ottomans. Holy cow. This uh, Russia-Sweden combo seems like a good person to offer an alliance to. If we can manage it. Portuguese Colombia would like to have accents. Oh, uh, there's Portugal in this war as well. They are. I need France to be in this and maybe we could uh maybe we can talk. Well, we definitely need more manpower, so we can't quite go in uh, try to conquer more people now. Well, we want to conquer those Indian uh, nations. That's what we want. But we don't have the manpower for that at the moment. We need to let that recover just a bit. And as we do, it may be good to do more unique buildings and manufactories. The Admiral Tree gives you an extra leader without income, which is really nice. Stability cost minus 5. Technology cost minus 5%. Holy cow, yes. Alright, manufactory. Farm estate, naval equipment, build one of those puppies. Okay, so let's check on the trade situation. So now we've got 17.02 gold heading our way from the Ivory Coast. Could be better, but that's okay. Okay, we are not quite the highest here just yet. Need a bit more trade power in the Caribbean. Oh, and we have another merchant now because of Scotland's expansion. Let's think about where we want to put them. Because it looks like our trade here from 
Malacca. You know, we're using Portugal quite a bit to send it the right direction. I guess maybe Lubeck. I guess it only has one direction that it's going. Denmark and the Hansa are collecting there. Let's see how this goes. We will probably need lose 25 admin power or 10 legitimacy. Our legitimacy is going up. So 10, we can recover from that. Sure, sure, sure. And we don't dominate trade there just yet. We have the highest, but the thing is there are so many smaller countries that are going the opposite direction that maybe if we increased our local trade power there. Okay, we've got the Cameroon. Forty-five military power to destroy them, so we could do that. And that means that the military can leave. Let's see, where should they go? I guess join up with this group. Of course, there's already 27 regiments. Are you about to uh, to do this? April 1697, holy cow. Anything we can do about this here? That helps. Took off 17 years for half a percent. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll probably start planning our attack here in India. I'm thinking Carnatic is where we need to go. So we'll see what we can do with that and see about more trading power all over the world and all that kind of stuff. We can get a new military tech, which we should do. London is cored. Woohoo! Going to do that and then upgrade the cannons. All's good, all's good, and we are probably going to be continuing our rise in the ranks of nations in the next episode. See you then.